Our next guest is Jeff Towdy. He is a landlord, uh, I guess you'd say a small scale landlord in New York City. Uh, look, the eviction moratorium has been extended. Tell me, are tenants taking advantage of you? Yes, they are. They're taking advantage of, uh, of uh, landlords in New York. I don't know about, I know that some states are more lenient than others, but uh, they definitely are taking advantage of the small landlord in New York. There are tenants that I know for a fact that can pay the rent, that have the means to pay the rent, that are actually making more money now between the stimulus checks that they're getting and the unemployment, and are able to pay the rent, and are just not paying the rent because they know they can, because they're getting, uh, they're getting the okay from the administration, and they're getting the okay from different city agencies. And the courts are closed, so you can't take them to court, and you have no rights as a landlord. We're now, completely helpful. you can evict them. About two months from now, I believe, the moratorium is ended. I think. It's, is it two months from now or when? Well, they say two months from now, but they said this, I think this is the sixth, the fifth or sixth time already they yep. extended it. Yep. Okay, so, so let, let's just suppose, let, let's suppose that two months from now you are able to evict these tenants who've not been paying yeah. you rent. You want me to tell you what's going to happen in two months? I'm going to look into my fortune board and tell you what's going to happen Go ahead. in two months. The courts are going to be packed. Yep. As soon as the tenant walks into court, first of all, by the time you actually see a judge, um, with the tenant that you have a problem with, because they're going to keep extending it because the courts are very busy, it's probably going to be a year and a half to two years down the line. And that's me being optimistic. Uh, mm -hmm. When you do finally go in front of the judge, as soon as they say the word COVID, it becomes the landlord is the bad person, the, the tenant is a good person, the landlord is the big almighty, and the, and the tenant is the, you know, the, the, the weak one that has to be protected. And we're going to get screwed. Landlords are going to get screwed. Can That's you hold out? If the tenant, yeah. if, 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 the tenant if, uh, if this takes another year, no, no. Me and, and a few other landlords that I know, like me, were small landlords. We're not, you know, we don't own a hundred buildings, and we don't have uh, commercial spaces that that would cushion the blow from the residential. Um, we no, we can't hold that. Did I'm going to be bankrupt. Did you get money from the government? No, the government gave us the SAB. Uh, um, I think it was SAB loan, um, which is a loan. Mm -hmm. And compared to what we asked for and what we showed as losses and what we got, I think we got 7% or 10% of what our losses was. And that's a loan that we have to start paying back. A couple of months ago, the government uh, offered uh, something that's called e ERAP, which is supposed to help landlords if the tenant gets on board and fills out the documents and the landlord, um, you know, fills out their portion of the documents, then the landlord has a good chance of getting. Everybody, including me, that I know that tried uh, filling this out, never got anywhere with it. Some landlords were, were able to do it, but haven't received a dollar. And the worst thing about it is you have to commit to keeping this tenant another year or two. So all you're doing is you're prolonging the problem. Whatever problem you have now is going to happen in here because the tenant is getting free money from the government. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky enough as the landlord to get that money, That'd be great, but then in a year down the line, you're going to have the same problem because the tenant is not going to pay. The tenant is expected again for somebody else, another agency, to come forward and help them. And this is what happens. You know, you're creating a monster. Jeff, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry I've got to bring this to an end because I'm out of time. But look, we really want to thank you for bringing this to our attention. Nobody puts in a good word for landlords, and you guys are truly suffering. And you actually might go out of business, and that is a terrible thing. Jeff Towdy, I really appreciate, no, I, I appreciate you come back. You help, I, I want you to Thank come you back and tell us how you're doing as, as things progress yeah. here. Jeff Towdy, you're all right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah, it. Have a good morning. Thank you. Thank you.